Hi, my name is Tom Cooper, and I'm a postdoc at Carnegie Observatories. Let's talk about galaxy collisions. Since galaxies have hundreds of billions of stars, it's totally reasonable to picture stars crashing together when you hear the phrase galaxy collision. But galaxies are so huge, even though they have so many stars, the stars don't really come near each other. The interactions are actually gravitational. Stars feel the effect of both galaxies, making it completely rearranged. How a galaxy interaction goes depends on how massive the galaxies are and how they're moving. A much larger galaxy will often strip apart and incorporate a smaller galaxy without really changing much itself. We call this a minor merger. Many galaxies have smaller companion galaxies that orbit them, called satellite or dwarf galaxies. And over time, many of these will merge with the larger galaxy. The whirlpool in the lower right of my background is a famous example of a galaxy interacting with one of its satellites. When two larger galaxies collide, they mostly just go right through each other, although the galaxy shapes can get stirred up a bit. The cartwheel galaxy on the upper left is an amazing example of this. If the galaxies are gravitationally bound to each other, then they'll come around for a second pass and a third pass until they finally merge together and form one big galaxy. This is called a major merger. In this case, there actually are two things that come crashing together, the supermassive black holes at the centers of each galaxy. Interactions can also cause galaxies to start forming stars very quickly in what we call a starburst. This results from gas in the galaxies, which is the fuel for star formation getting jostled around a bit. Collisions produce one of the most stunning and interesting galaxies, along with being very important in the growth and development of galaxies over time. 